Hey guys, welcome back. Welcome back to the D-Time Love Show. And today I've got something a little bit different. Uh, a watch brand that you've probably never heard of. A company called Pantor. Now Pantor have sent in one of their new dive watches to be reviewed by the D-Time Love Channel. I just wanted to give you guys my first impressions of this interesting timepiece. And um, Pantor watches are from Hong Kong, so it's the first time I've ever had anything from that side of the world in terms of watches. But uh, let's have a little closer look at this watch. But before I do that, let's do a quick wristwatch check. And today I'm sporting the Seiko Sportaro on this NATO strap. A nice, fun, enjoyable beta watch that I wear on a day-to-day -day basis when I'm doing household chores. And uh, it's one of a... One of my favourites, I have to say, one of my favourite quartz watches, with all honesty, but very cool indeed. But anyway, let's take a closer look at this Pantor watch. Now, it came with um, not your usual type of packaging that you get uh, with watches. It came in this sort of um, pouch, a bit like a watch travel case. Very nice touch indeed. I actually do prefer it because it is very useful. And you can see they've imprinted the brand name there on top. But very nice pants, or I have to say, of thinking of that instead of giving me the cardboard box, which um, you never really use. But uh, let's open this up so we can take a closer look and reveal the watch. All right, so it basically is like a carry case that holds two watches. And uh, what have you got here? You have the warranty card very nicely done basic stuff and um the instruction manual which is quite basic but minimalistic but straight to the point not bad at all so what do we have first in this pouch here so you have a nato strap that comes with the watch let's have a look at this Not bad at all. And you come, it comes with a spring bar removal. Um, not bad, not bad. A bit big. Not sure I'll be using that on the watch itself because I've got probably better quality equipment than that to do it. But uh, a nice touch, I have to say. Very nice touch. And here is the watch itself, guys. And as you can see, it's in that beautiful green dial and green bezel. Very cool indeed. And it does play with the light very well. So let's get a closer look at the Pantor. Now let's take a closer look at the Pantor Sea Line. And first of all, what I can comment on is that dial, the way it plays with that light, that sunburst green dial and bezel absolutely looks stunning. And I am a big sucker for blue dials. I don't have many green dial watches in the collection. I want to say a big thank you to Pantor for sending this watch in for review. This is not a sponsored video or anything like that, but I did fancy the green dial because I don't have any green dial watches in my collection apart from the Seiko Alpinist. But um, I have to say I am pleasantly surprised. And um, let's talk about a little bit more about, first of all, the movement options that you have with this watch. Now, you can get this watch with the Seiko NH35A movement, which I believe the model Pan 12 sent me has. And you can also get it with a Swiss ETA that obviously will cost a little bit more money. But first impressions, guys, I have to say, I love the dial. It's quite simplistic. You know, they're just printed pants all there. And there is a date function there at three o'clock. But I do love the dial. I have to say it is playing with the light very well. And um, I have to say, um, yeah, I'm impressed. And, and let me tell you the reasons why. Spec wise, I was impressed. I wasn't expecting for it to have the specification that it has. And um, this watch is 300 meters water resistant. First of all, it's got a sapphire crystal. Um, it's even got a helium escape valve. Now, um, you're probably going to be asking, the next question would be, is what is the price of this watch? Well, it, I had a look on Amazon and Pantor are selling this watch in the UK 
for £400, £399, which puts it in direct competition with the likes of the Seiko Turtle and the Seiko Samurai. And these watches are extremely, extremely popular, I have to say. And, you know, it's quite a flooded market out there. And for you to stand out, I think there are so many watches out there that compete with the, the Seiko dive watches, the Sumos, the Samurai, the, for example, Citizen Pro Master are one of their direct rivals, I have to say, on that side of it. But um, Pansar really have to stand out in terms of what they are because they don't have the, the history, the pedigree behind them. So what have they got on offer here? Now, 300 meters water resistant, which is normal death rating at 400 pound mark, in the UK, you know, you can find them cheaper. You're always looking at 200 meters water resistant. And it has got the helium escape valve. Now, um, you know, some of these helium escape valves, you know, like you get on the Seamasters, a little bit gimmicky because you're never really going to use them. But it is a luxury having that, you know, something that you don't get on Seiko watches at that price range. And most importantly, the biggest factor, the biggest gripe that people have is that they don't get sapphire crystal the pantar watch has got sapphire crystal guys which is very nice and it's got an anti-reflective coating on the inner side of the crystal itself which is very cool indeed now um, i love um, rotating bezels so let's check out the quality of the pantor sea lion bezel let's check this out so zoom in there so you can get a better better image bear with me very tight, very good construction, very good indeed, I have to say. Now, it's a 120 click bezel, it's an al al aluminium, sorry, bezel, so I'm losing my wording there. Um, and uh, very, it's very good, I have to say. Listen, guys, I'm a little bit, uh, I've got a bit of a hangover after the England game, after losing the game. Um, I did drown my sorrows with a few pints of beer, so please excuse my voice, my croaky voice today. But yet, yeah, the bezel is very good, guys, I have to say. Um, not as smooth as some of the Seikos, but there's no movement on it at all. It's solid. It really is solid. And I'm really impressed with this sort of case as well as a brushed finished case i don't think it's hand brushed it is machine brushed now let's get to the diameter of the watch it is a 42 millimeter watch in terms of diameter from lug to lug you're looking at 45 millimeters now in terms of strap size you're looking at 22 millimeters it comes with this silicone um, strap nice very nice very nice to the touch quite soft and it's a brush still finish um, class there with the Pantor logo engraved there, which is very nicely done as well. Um, the only negatives I would say about this um, silicone strap, it does tend to pick up the dirt quite easily already. And I've only held this watch for a couple of times and it has picked up the dirt. I mean, simple solution, it is a dive watch, so you can run it underneath your tap, but that is the downside. But on the good side, um, it is very, very soft to the touch and um, getting to the other side of the case this is where sorry this is where things get interesting i mean look at the engraved sea lion there you can see stainless steel pants or sea lion sapphire crystal 300 meters water resistant very cool indeed i have to say now let's have a look i love that engraving i mean i would probably say it's better than the caracol wave I really like that. That is cool. Lovely finishing from Pantor. Well done, guys. That is very good indeed. And uh, let's have a look at the crown. It is a screw down crown, like I said before. Um, and it's got the engraved C line. Very nice touch. You don't tend to get that with your Seiko watches at this price range, I have to say. The finishing is of a high gloss finish on the side of the case very nice very nice i have to say yes i really do like this watch pantor well done now the thing is for me and um this is the biggest issue pantor will face is would someone part with 400 pounds of their money over 
for their pound tour over a Seiko Samurai or let's say a Mini Turtle. I think this is probably a totally different look to the Samurai. It's more of an alternative to the Seiko Mini Turtle at 42mm diameter. It has got his own thing going for him. The Panto is a cool watch, I have to say. I think Panto, Panto, wherever you, you guys pronounce that, Panto have got their own thing going here. I mean, it's not a very chunky watch, I have to say, either. Let's take off my Seiko Sportora and put this bad boy on the wrist so you guys can see a wrist shot. Bear with me, guys. There it is, guys. Very cool. Fits very nicely on, on my wrist, I have to say. I've just got an under 7 inch wrist, I have to say. And it's very, very nice. 42 millimeters fits absolutely spot on. And I have to say, just wearing this again, oof, I love it. It's a cool watch. You know what, guys? You know, for me, where do I think Pantel stands in the market with this watch? If you've had enough of Seiko, if you've had enough of, I would say, Citizen Pro Masters, you know, uh, and you want something a little bit more exclusive, and you're not so fussed about the heritage and pedigree, I think this Pantor Sea Lion is an excellent alternative. Now, it comes on a metal bracelet. Um, it comes in different dial colours. It comes with blue and in black. And having looked at this one in green, I would have thought the actual blue one would be absolutely stunning as well. But for me, this makes a nice addition to the collection because it, I haven't really got a green dial diver yet. Um, but um, very cool indeed. I mean, for me, for me, let me just wipe that. For me, this Pantor watch, um, the biggest selling point for me is, is that it is great band per buck for this watch it really is good value for money in the fact that you are getting 300 meters water resistant you're getting a watch with a movement with manual wind and hacking i believe it's got around 40 hours power reserve screw down crown there's an automatic helium escape valve very cool at this price point you know you don't really get that with the more traditional brands like seiko and citizen you probably need to spend around the thousand pound mark to get a watch with 300 meters water resistant and it's got sapphire crystal and it's got anti-reflective coating on the inner side of the crystal as well now there is a brush steel finish on the top there as you can see on the case very nicely done and it's got a high gloss finish on the side as well these are nice touches by Pantor, i have to say now would i recommend them um, you know what, guys? I only recommend watches that I would actually wear. And I have to say, I would wear the Pantor Sea Lion. I think it's a cool watch. I think the bezel is very easy to grip as well. I found that, yes, it's very easy to grip, very easy to use. It's very little play. And my honest opinion is, I would wear this. I think it's cool. I think it's a bit different than my Seiko watches. Does it replace my Seiko watches? Probably not. But at this price range, you can afford to have both in your collection. I think the Pantor potentially, in time, um, as it builds its reputation, will make good alternative watches to the likes of Seiko, potentially. But, you know, your Seiko, look, I am a Seiko fan. And for me, when I wear this watch, I wish it was a Seiko. <laughs> That's my honest opinion. Honestly, I mean... Why haven't Seiko made something like this? I mean, this green dial is cool. It really is cool. Silicone strap, comfortable, you know? Look, the biggest thing for me is, you know, this is probably twice the price of a Seiko SKX, but is it twice the watch? And I think that's something I'm gonna have to discuss in another video. Is it worth the extra money? On paper, I would probably say yes. You know, it's got a hell of a lot of spec for the money. Um, I believe the only other brand that may be able to produce something of this spec around about a little bit more is Steinhardt. But Steinhardt watches just tend to be very much homages of other brands 
with all honesty, but starting hot is an option. So pants are, I really are in the deep end, you know, but I have to say the engraving of the sea lion, the doll, oh, I like it. I'll wear this. On, I think it's, I think it's going to be added to the collection, guys. This won't be leaving, you know. Thank you, Pantor, once again for sending this watch over. I'm absolutely delighted with it. And um, I do highly recommend them. So I'm going to leave a link below to the Pantor website so you guys can make yourself more familiar with what their brand is and um, the types of watches they have within the range. And there's a link to Amazon where you can purchase this, wa this watch. So guys, thanks once again for watching. I hope you enjoy the content. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care. See you guys soon.